New Eden was surprised a few days ago when for the second time Triglavians managed to take over billboards across the cluster. The message broadcast showed Triglavian envoy Zoria Triglav inviting capsuleers to join them in the war against empires. We are Zoria Triglav. We speak for the convocation of Triglav outside this travel. Glorification. Glorification awaits those fit to join the flow of Virage. Women of potential is divine among augmented Narodnia. We invoke approving of Kybernites in the ancient domains. Guide and ground the flow, and be fit for glorification. Obstruct and mortify the flow, and you will be extirpated. We speak for the convocation of Triglav outside the struggle. Outside the struggle. We are Zoria Triglav. Needless to say, this ominous recording has sent shockwaves throughout Empire space. Officials of Concord's Big Four Empires, who for some time have been concerned with the growing wealth and influence of Capsuleers, are questioning the loyalty of such pilots. Cassia Vulcanier, Provost Marshal of Concord's Aegis Division and the primary coordinator of planetary and orbital defense against Triglavian invasions, responded to the broadcast. Concord's Direct of Intelligence Agency believes the Triglavians are attempting to entice independent capsulars into renegade actions that would suit the interests of the invaders. I can confirm that Concord is coordinating closely with member states in a broad effort to thwart Triglavian attempts to manipulate star system environments across New Eden. The Triglavians pose an existential threat to all of New Eden. We trust that Capsulars will continue their efforts to combat the Triglavian menace and work with local defense forces to this end. In the days since the broadcast, fierce fighting has been witnessed around Concord observatories, where the Triglavians have for the first time deployed their mighty Zirnitra dreadnoughts against Concord and Empire fleets. The appearance of Triglavian dreadnoughts continues the apparent change in tactics marked by the Collective withdrawing its massive world arcs from K-Space. The implication that the Triglavians are seeking to draw Capsuleers to their side is a further alarming development in their overall strategy. Reports suggest that numerous Capsuleers have already accepted the Triglavian offer and assisted their attacks on Concord observatories. This is causing a great deal of unrest and unease in government circles. While Capsuleers are notoriously fickle and prone to shifting allegiance, these acts are regarded as a betrayal of New Eden civilization. The scope will continue with updates as the situation develops. This has been Alton Hovery reporting for The Scope. Now with a special story about recent events in Empire Space, here is Lena Amber. Last month, the residents of the Hex system witnessed some of the heaviest fighting ever seen in the high-sec partition of New Eden. When a Fortasar-class citadel, owned by Hog Hitmen, came under attack from multiple alliances. A couple of weeks prior to the engagement, Hog's Hitmen had declared war on at least 180 alliances and corporations, with the intention of ambushing as many lone pilots in high sec as possible, perhaps they did not realize that their actions were also making themselves vulnerable to combined attacks from those 180 alliances. Rudazara, a fleet commander of Black Legion, one of the alliances war decked, spotted an opportunity to band against Hog Hitmen. Most of these high-sec, war-decking entities that declare war on other alliances and corporations usually choose alliances and corporations that can't fight back. And some of these newer founded corporations take months to build up assets and anchor them in space just to have these kinds of corporations come in there and steamroll them. I can't respect that, and we're just glad that we could have returned the favor. Banding together, Fleet Commanders Ezekiel of Vindictive, Master Glorfi from the Intergalactic Space Hobos, and Rudazara on behalf of Black Legion, started coordinating attacks on Hog Hitman's Fortazar. 
During a brief period of neutrality, when Hog Hitmen, in attempt to reduce the number of attackers, withdrew war declarations, Black Legion managed to construct an Astrahus class citadel close to the Fortazar. As the conflict escalated, Pirate Alliance Pirat saw an opportunity to enter the target rich environment and join the war on the side of Hog Hitmen. In the days leading up to the battle, multiple neutral freighters were observed bringing in ships and equipment to the Fortazar in preparation for the upcoming fight and undoubtedly leaving the system with valuable assets. After weeks of fighting and skirmishing, the Fortazar reached its final timer. A decisive battle with the Fortazar hanging in the balance was inevitable. Since both sides could easily access their nearby citadels, stocked with a wide variety of ships and equipment, the subsequent battle turned out to be exceptionally fluid. On multiple occasions, fleets docked to switch ships in an attempt to counter tactics and outmaneuver opposing fleets. Destroyed ships could also be quickly replaced on the battlefield as capsuleers made use of the reserves stored in the citadels. Fleets consisting of hurricanes, tornadoes, ravens, nagas, hecates, and vexors took turns dishing out mutual death and destruction. Finally, with fires raging in multiple locations and having completely lost its hull integrity, a magnificent bright flash signaled the end of the Fortazar, and with it, thousands of its inhabitants. Sporadic explosions continued to light up the battlefield for some time afterwards, as the fleet remnants continued exchanging shots, occasionally turning their attention to opportunistic battlefield salvagers. By the time the battle was over, around 600 ships had been destroyed, and along with the Fortazar, the total value lost is estimated to be over 80 billion ISK. The number of crew members killed is counted in the hundreds of thousands. So the assembled might of Black Legion, intergalactic space hobos, and Vindictive managed to score a significant victory against the perceived villains of the piece, Hogs Hitmen. Despite losing the Fortazar, Hogs Hitmen remained defiant. By spending nearly 31 billion isk on over 180 wars at our bait staging Fortazar in Heck. We crushed our kill objectives with almost 700 Alliance kills with an estimated value of over 70 billion isk. We have been asked if we've learned our lesson. The answer is simple. We call this an up success. Thank you. Reporting for The Scope, this is Lena Amber.